Hello everyone, and welcome back to Let's Play Bioshock 2. Last time, we did a lot of housekeeping in terms of acquiring DLC. I did a lot of behind-the-scenes housekeeping in terms of fixing what is actually a very common glitch where the game is rendered unable to read your save files. And through it all, we completed the first level, the Adonis Luxury Resort. And now, we're back! There we are on Games for Windows Live. All is well. It loaded the save list as it was supposed to. Very good. Now if I look at extras, got the Protector Trials and Minerva's Den, all of which are things we'll do later. The other DLC all relates to multiplayer, which I actually have to load separately. As you can see, it's quit the multiplayer. Anyway, let's continue where we left off at the Atlantic Express Maintenance Depot. The Atlantic Express. Space to continue. And here we are. My active goal is to get to Bridget Tenenbaum. Let's just look it over again to remind ourselves. Bridget Tenenbaum is calling for help from the fortified ticket booth in the Atlantic Express train station. You will need to make your way through the Atlantic Express maintenance facility to reach her. Follow the signs to reach the train station. Pretty straightforward. That goes back out to the ocean. We could... I presume we could hit it. Maybe not. Okay. Sign says Atlantic Express. I see a bunch of diver suits. Canned fruit. I think that's actually new. Yes. Snacks and medicinals. Can of peaches. Is that the only new one? Yes. After exhaustive clinical trials, we have found what we can safely call the perfect food. It is a gainer peach. Its nutritional balance is beyond compare, naturally, and its flavor can't be beat. Take it from Rapture's foremost botanist, Dr. Julie Langford, excerpt from scientific study commissioned by Gainer Produce Corporation. This can of delectable fruit will give you a small amount of health. Like all food and drink, it is consumed immediately when picked up. Here we have sardines, which we have seen before. Come on, come on. Atlantic Express. Maybe this odd number of folks down here. Six drill fuel, aspirin, and e pipo. We've seen all those things before. Fresh water. We've seen that before too. Let's enjoy the quick save function. Atlantic Express Maintenance Facility. Attention, workers, have ID badge visible at all times. Safety now. Please use safety gear. There's a splicer over there. Oh. Now most who survive are like this. Splicers. They're drug addicts. Vicious animals. We got a Vita chamber here. That message from Tenenbaum was... Splicers! Pretty straightforward. Pick up the hack tool. Canned beans, we've seen before. That's my echo. Tool my dispenser. Shadow. You can sometimes trick the security system into opening a door, but you must have the proper tool. Okay, first, that message was... Tenenbaum, proper tool. 
Now we have here, hack tool, transponder, load dart, wrist attachment, encryption input keys, hack signal amplifier, keep this set at 88.5 megahertz, signal booster. Now this tool dispenser, produce one kind of tool, right. It drops remote hack darts. Hack dart. Hack darts are the basic ammo for the hack tool and allow you to hack machines at a distance. Firing one at an unhacked machine will begin the hacking game. If you succeed, the machine will become hacked. Misfired hack darts can be recovered from walls and other objects. A hack dart is an ammo type, and we have also now unlocked hacking. Hack tool. This miracle device lets you subvert the many machines of Rapture for help, protection, and other benefits. Press left mouse to fire at any hackable machine. The reticle will only turn red over valid targets. Press shift for a quick melee attack. Base ammo. Hack dart. Hacks machines at a distance. Once the dart makes contact with a machine, the hack game will begin. Alternate ammo. Auto hack dart. Bypasses a machine's defenses to automatically hack a machine with no additional work required. Alternate ammo. Mini turrets drops a turret that will automatically fire at your enemies. These only last a set amount of time before auto-detonating. Alright, let's pick it up. Let's pick up that one. Let's, might as well keep getting them until we can't get any more. Which, apparently... Oh, nope, that's not now. Just have to wait a bit, I guess. I talk with my echo. But where is that shell that I love? Oh, we've already seen that. We'll pick that up in a minute, but... Well, let's pick it up now. You got the hack tool. Press left mouse to fire it at machines to subvert them to your side. And it had two darts in it, and it told me I couldn't carry anymore. So there we go. And there's our first hack, the door control. Let's do this. Now, I haven't done the Bioshock 2 hack before, and I happen to know it's different. To hack a machine, press E to stop the needle on a green section of the meter to advance. White will give you a nasty shock. I also know that blue will give me a bonus, and red will trip an alarm. Nice and easy. Hack successful. Result of successful hack. Secured doors now unlocked. Achievement unlocked. Distance hacker. First, let's resupply our hack tool. Now I'm going to quick save. So just a couple of things. First let's look at our handy achievement. Oh, I have to hit View Games and Bioshock 2. That is our second of 68 achievements. It's unlocked simply by using the hack tool to hack an object at a distance. Well, let me mark that down in my own notes. Also, the other hacking achievements are... Let me see if they're... Prolific Hacker. For this, we have to successfully hack at least one of every type of machine. The door control is one out of eight types of machines we need to hack. On top of that, we have Master Hacker, for which we need to hack 30 machines at a distance with the hack tool. That is our first of 30. I think there are a couple of others, but maybe not. Yeah, that's it for now, except for the secret ones, so just to keep you all posted about what we still need to do. Okay, let's arm our rivet gun, head out here, quick save, and in an effort to prevent audio desync, I'm going to stop and restart the recording. And there we go. Let's move on now. Leadhead Splicer. Oh, I guess I did kill him. Good. $3.05 drill fuel. 
You can also proximity hack by approaching a machine and pressing V. Now, I don't know why I'd do that, but let's get the info on the security bot. Security bots. Security bots are the muscle of the security system. When an alarm sounds, they will go to the location where the camera last saw you. You can hide from them, but cameras will tell them where you are if you are seen again during an active alarm. If you cancel an alarm early with a security shutdown panel, the bot is instantly shut down and goes into a dormant state. When dormant, bots can be proximity hacked by pressing V. You can also hack them at any time from a distance by using the hack tool. If you successfully hack a security bot, it will reactivate and follow you around, helping fight your enemies. Hacked security bots will not attack your enemies unprovoked, but will join in attacking any target you yourself have attacked. Getting a blue bonus section while hacking a security bot will cause it to do more damage to your enemies. That is security system, which I think is a new tag. And we've got a new entry under hacking. Completing a hack. Rapture's many machines can be rewired and subverted for a variety of helpful effects, but you will need to hack them first. Fire a hack dart to begin hacking a machine at a distance, or just walk up to it and press V. Either of these will begin the hack game. To successfully hack a machine, you simply need to stop the needle on the green or blue zone. Green will proceed to the next board of the game, or finish the hack on the last board. Blue does the same, with the addition of a machine-specific bonus. Landing in a red zone will end the hack and set off an alarm. Landing in a white zone will end the hack and give you a nasty shock. You only have a limited number of passes with the hack needle, so pay attention to the number displayed at the bottom of the board. The hack game proceeds in real time. Enemies in security may still attack, but you can also move as well. Use this to your advantage and stay out of the line of fire while attempting a hack. Hackable Machines Rapture has a large variety of machines that can be hacked for your benefit. Hacked security cameras will set off friendly alarms, sending bots after your enemies. Hacked turrets will attack any enemy that wanders near. Hacked vending machines offer cheaper prices and reveal rare items for purchase. Hacked safes allow you access to their valuable contents. Hacked security bots will follow you and fight for you. Hacked health stations offer cheaper healing. I think that ought to be everything. Uh, I can't actually use that like a real scroll bar. It's okay, though. We're good. However, I'll say now, since we've hit a security bot, that there's a secret achievement. I'll save the title just because it's cool. I'll leave that secret, although you might know it anyway. But there's an achievement for killing 50 enemies using nothing but hacked security. So after I hack this bot, I'm going to let it shred as many enemies as I can just by taking one shot at them with the rivet gun and letting them kill them. But, since I'm trying to get Master Hacker and that requires distance hacking, especially since I can just go get another dart from the dispenser... Oh, I guess I can't. Huh. Well, doesn't matter. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the dart anyway. Just so I can work toward Master Hacker. So let's zap it. Landed on blue. So, that is, first of all, it's the second type of machine we need for Prolific Hacker. We have six to go. It's also the second distance hack with the hack tool we need for Master Hacker. Awesome. Hack successful. Hacked security bots are friendly and will attack your enemies. Get a blue bonus while hacking to upgrade their damage. Cool. I'm going to try one more time to get another dart out of here. I guess that's it. Okay. Well, that's fine. Let's get our rivet gun back out. We will be reborn. Splicer in here. Better quick save. Train Workshop 6A. Someone's making noise. Where is he? Alright, the train just fell down. There's a splicer. Hey, hey, run, run. Uh, I'm 
let my buddy the bot deal with them now. That's one. That's two. Three dollars, drill fuel, this is Dr. and the canned fruit. Lamb. Andrew Ryan is dead, but the tyrant dwells within us all. Remember, we reject the gene. We reject the self. We reject the tyrant. This second splicer has three dollars and two rivets. This will definitely come in handy. Now well, let's search the rest of the room. Like I said, that's two out of fifty enemies killed with security we need for the secret achievement. If we head over here, side room, gate control. The end of Ryan is the end of the self. Let's pick up a few more rivets. Then we're maxed out again. So we can go to gate control. We can go to the workshop. And the, over here we've got another entrance to the workshop. But we also have a health station. Heal for $15. We can hack it, which we'll do remotely in a minute. But what is this? Health stations. Health stations cost a fair amount of money, but completely refill your health bar when used. Your enemies can also employ these health stations. If you see a splicer fleeing when badly wounded, he or she is probably running to heal at a nearby health station. Successfully hacking a health station lowers the price of healing, and will cause that particular station to kill any splicers who try to use it. Destroying a health station will cause a first aid kit to spill out, but the station itself will become unusable. Getting a blue bonus section while hacking will cause a free first aid kit to drop from the machine. Be sure to pick it up before you move on. Oh, we got something else. Door control panels. Some doors can only be opened by hacking a nearby door control panel. Keep an eye out for these throughout Rapture. They usually hide valuables behind them. Anything else? Nope, looks like we're good. Well, let's get back to work. Let's whip out the hack tool. We'll remote hack the health station as soon as our bot friend gets out of the way. Hack successful. Hacked health stations cost less to use and damage enemies that attempt to use them. Get a blue bonus while hacking to drop a free first aid kit, which I think we succeeded in doing. So, that's the third type of machine out of eight we need for prolific hacker. It's also our third distance hack out of 30 we need for master hacker. As Abed from Community would say, cool, cool, cool. Let's grab our free first aid kit. You also notice the price to heal has dropped to nine dollars. Now, let's head here into the workshop first. Got some rivets here that we don't need. Some file cabinets that apparently have nothing inside. Drill fuel on the desk. Four dollars on the desk. Over here we have potato chips, which I have seen before. And here is a diary. The Great Chain Rattles. That is diary number eight of the 100 that we need for Rapture Historian. Let's pick it up and listen. I'm told that the people grow tense and isolated in the absence of the sun. Now they clamor for a psychiatrist. Do they miss the state censor, I wonder? Wartime seizure of private assets? Or the check of police vanishing them in the night? Regardless, this lamb woman is said to be the foremost practitioner in her field. Fine. If she can quiet the rattling of the Great Chain's weakest links, I will leave her to it. Alright, let's head up here. Search the rest of this room. Not really seeing anything except train blueprints. Nothing useful, anyway. Empty supply cabinet. 
A tingling noise usually means something valuable is around, though. Anyway, here's a new poster. Atlantic Express, Rapture's fastest way to travel. I don't know what I'm hearing. I guess it doesn't really matter. Let's quick save and head in here. We're going to get attacked, but it's another scripted fight, kind of like the first one with the big sister where we can't actually die, so just gonna let myself get pounded. Oh, um, this is where I was anyway. Well, let's flip the gate control switch. I know you. That symbol on your hand marks you a dead man. Ten years, Subject Delta, since I watched you put a gun to your head and pull the trigger. But take heart. Out of your pain, Paradise was born. I don't know how you survived, but your suffering is over now. These men will ease your burden. Please understand that like all I have done, this is an act of love. It is Sophia Lamb. She has found you. Okay, so we have two messages just then. First is Lamb, act of love. Second is Tenenbaum, Lamb has found you. See, we can't die. Hold the floor. Maintenance runoff pumping station. Oh, I'm in control. Well, let's quick save, if we can. It doesn't seem to want to let me right now. I am, however, going to do a lag prevention. And with that done, we will move on. Let's romp around down here. Nice ocean floor scenery. Not sure where exactly we can get out. I don't think we've seen it yet, regardless. Now you know of the enemy we share, Sophia Lem. The camera in your helmet allows me to watch through your eyes and help you to fight her. That message was... Tenenbaum, shared enemy. This corpse has four dollars on it. Which we are happy to receive. Rapture Masquerade Ball, 1959. That's a familiar poster from the first game. Now we're up on the dry land. Now back there, there's an audio diary that we can't get yet. We'll have to come back once we have telekinesis. I guess I should also point out that one achievement I didn't make note of, we haven't earned it yet, of course, but... We head over to the achievement list. As soon as I find it. All plasmids. Find or purchase all 11 basic plasmid types. We have one out of 11 already with Electrobolt. That's all. For now. Let's head up here crouch to get under this doorway. Atlantic Express Administrative Storage. You'll notice my health has returned to full, despite being fully depleted when Lamb found me earlier. There's a Vita Chamber in here.
handprints forming a moth, same one on the cover of Lamb's book, Unity and Metamorphosis. Fontaine Futuristics AccuVox, personal voice recorder, recording the thoughts and lives of Rapture citizens for five years and counting. Fontaine Futuristics for the city of the future. Evolution in a bottle, plasmids by Ryan Industries. Hey, my security bot buddy found me. Awesome. Introducing the future of health and wellness, the Vita Chamber. Restore vigor and spirit with the touch of a button. There is the Vita Chamber, if you're playing while using those. And up there we see a security camera. Let's go ahead and hack it from here. Obviously we're going to quick save first. Got the blue. Hack successful. Hacked cameras work for you, spotting enemies and sending security bots after them. Get a blue bonus while hacking for a longer friendly alarm. Of course, that's two updates. That is the fourth type of machine out of the eight that we need for Prolific Hacker. I'm writing that down in my own notes where I keep track of it. And it's also our fourth distance hack with the hack tool out of the 30 that we need for Master Hacker. And I think it's going to take out a splice or two. A friendly alarm has been set off by a hacked camera. Careful! Security cameras belong to Lam! But, if you are clever, they can be made to serve you. Okay. Yes, they killed one splicer, so that's the third of 50 enemies we need to kill using only hacked security to get the secret achievement. I should point out that Daddy's Home and Distance Hacker were both secret achievements as well, the two we've actually unlocked so far. That message was Tenenbaum security cameras. Pretty straightforward really, but let's get back to work. So we can head in here now. Atlantic Express Drafting Offices. Reliable Pharmacy. Convenience and fair prices the Ryan way. Drugs, canned goods, much more. We are qualified to help you with your nitrogen narcosis. Ryan Pharmaceuticals. Interesting. Two remote, ha remote hack darts in here I will gratefully take. And I'll bet that security cameras have shown up on here. Big Daddies and Little Sisters. Subject to Delta. You are Subject Delta, a prototype Big Daddy created in Ryan Industries' Protector Gatherer program. The original Big Daddy prototypes, called the Alpha series, were leaner and more agile than the mass-produced models that came later, and each was bonded to a single little sister. You were apprehended after discovering Rapture during a diving expedition. Knowing they couldn't release you back to the surface to reveal the secrets of Rapture, you were volunteered as a subject for the experimental program. You were the first Big Daddy successfully pair-bonded to a little sister designed to protect her, and only her, with your life. In Rapture, you are something entirely unique. Security System, Security System Overview when a security camera emits a bright cone of white light, it has caught a glimpse of you and is trying to focus on you. If you stay in its field of view for a few seconds, it will see you clearly and sound an alarm. If you duck out of sight before the light turns red, the camera will soon return to its unalerted state. While the alarm is on, security bots will seek you out and try to kill you. Alarms typically last for a while, but can be manually turned off at a security shutdown panel. If you shut off the system at a shutdown panel, the bots go dormant and can then be hacked. When the alarm ends, any active security bots fly away. You can also end an alarm by successfully hacking the device that triggered it. In this case, however, the active bots will fly home instead of going dormant. Cameras can be destroyed with your weapons. Armor piercing or electrical attacks are most effective. The security command plasmid can also be used to distract or retarget enemy security. You can also hack security bots, cameras, and turrets, so think twice about destroying them. People of Rapture. Sophia Lamb. Utopia is not a place, but a people. It will exist the moment we are fit to occupy it. 
Sophia Lamb is both an Oxford-educated psychiatrist and philosophical idealist. She was brought to Rapture to counsel the populace. Her worldviews were shaped by her experiences aiding the survivors of the nuclear blast at Hiroshima. She herself was very near the blast, but miraculously survived, only to find that everyone she had met for the past several years was dead. The U.S. justification for the bombing, the greater good, was a perversion of her own beliefs. She believes that genetic biases toward the self have doomed the surface world, and so she sought refuge in the underwater city of Rapture. Her intent in joining Ryan's great experiment was to transform the closed society into an enlightened one through psychiatry, ultimately to abolish human suffering amongst the utopians. Her daughter, Eleanor, was raised in isolation from other children, intended as a genius-level intellect trained to promote Lamb's philosophy. An underground religion began to form around her, both out of the born out of the city's disenfranchised, and Lamb took full advantage of it. But Lamb's collectivist ideals conflicted directly with those of Andrew Ryan, and she mysteriously vanished during the fall of Rapture. Later she crossed paths with Subject Delta, murdering Eleanor's beloved bodyguard in order to retrieve her from his care. Now that Ryan and Fontaine are gone, Lamb has returned, and it seems she has a new plan for Rapture. That's it for now. Let's move through here. Got canned beans. It's awesome. Recombinant series. Excess. Oh, that's familiar from the first game. That was in Ryan's office. Here's some rivets I don't need. Let's search this room first. Inside the desk, potted meat, which we have seen before. We are but the stones to pave the way. Right over here, we have a bot shutdown panel. Shutdown panels. Bot shutdown panels are used to cancel active security alarms and shut down any security bots that have been summoned by the alarm. Using a bot shutdown panel is free. Alarms can also be canceled by successfully hacking the device that originally triggered it, whether it was a security camera or a failed hack on another machine. Make sure nothing else that's new has popped up. Good. No need to use that now. Let's head into this room where the camera is. Looks like we came from storage. We've seen this already. Search the filing cabinet. Find two dollars. First aid kit there. Four dollars on the desk. I think two sets of four dollars. Eight dollars in that desk. Drill fuel sitting there on the desk. Inside this desk, nothing apparently. Here's a lead head splicer, two dollars, four rivets, and hop up cola, all of which we've seen before. Oh good, the bots killed two enemies, not one. That means, of course, that we have four out of fifty enemies killed with hacked security for the secret achievement. That's good, that's very good. Alright, let's search the thug now. Three dollars, three rivets, and vitamins. Finally, let's get the description of security camera. Security cameras are the eyes of the security system. If you are spotted by a security camera and stay in its field of vision for a few seconds, it will sound an alarm and summon security bots to attack. If you successfully hack a security camera, it will ignore you and start looking for enemies. If an enemy stays in its field of vision for long enough, the alarm will sound and security bots will come to attack it. You can hack security cameras and get them to work for you, so think twice about destroying them. Getting a blue bonus section while hacking a camera will increase the duration of the alarm when it sees an enemy splicer. Make sure there's nothing else new in here. I doubt it, but you never know. Okay, we're good. Let's quick save and let's keep moving. To the left we have Workshop 6B, to the right we have the Jet Postal Office. Let's head in here first. Father, it's me, Eleanor. I know you're awake in there. I can feel it. 
Mother won't be able to... to toy with you like that ever again. This plasmid is for you. If I'm right, you can use it now. Please, find me. Interesting. Does that count as a radio message? Excuse me. That means, of course, it can't be replayed, but that's fine. Hope this helps. There's an Eve hypo on the desk. There's a switch I can't seem to use. A pneumo. There's a door over here, which leads upstairs. Another pneumo. Won't mess with that just yet. Alright, let's go ahead and grab telekinesis. Oh, okay, we've already seen that. I guess we have to pick it up, and then we can get the description. But, people of Rapture, Eleanor Lamb, love is just a chemical, we give it meaning by choice. Born in Rapture to Sophia Lamb, Eleanor's early childhood lacked a father or any other adult influence. Her genius was carefully cultivated in order to build the perfect vessel for Lamb's own altruistic philosophy. Eleanor was isolated from other children for years, but was headstrong and rebellious, teaching herself to disable Lamb's sophisticated security measures and explore the city on her own. Her true aim was to see the surface world her mother abandoned, a place about which she has only read. When the Elder Lamb was incarcerated by Andrew Ryan, a series of events led to Eleanor becoming a little sister, a ghoulish, atom-carrying hybrid. Ultimately, she was bonded to Subject Delta as his personal ward, and was psychologically conditioned to love him as her father. After her mother murdered Subject Delta to reclaim Eleanor, she spent many years in Lamb's care. But taking control of Rapture had changed Lamb. She managed to rehabilitate Eleanor psychologically, but regards the girl's physical condition as a blessing in disguise, subjecting Eleanor to many experiments involving Adam. Eleanor has been trying to escape ever since, and considers Subject Delta both father and ally in this plan. Also, when we pick up Telekinesis, that will be the second of the eleven basic plasmid types that we need for the All Plasmids achievement. Make sure there's nothing else new. I think I already did. Let's pick up telekinesis. New plasmid, telekinesis. Pick up big stuff with your mind. Throw it at your enemies. What else do you need to know? We have three open slots so far. Five that we'll have to buy. Telekinesis pulls an object to you, then hurls it, even enemy grenades. Also useful, useful for holding objects as a shield or grabbing objects out of reach. Objects at foes. You can even catch grenades and throw them back. Press and hold right mouse to grab objects with telekinesis. Release right mouse to throw them. Now I'm sure that we have more to read. Plasmid descriptions. Telekinesis. The telekinesis plasmid allows you to reach out with your mind and move objects. Press and hold right mouse to pull objects toward you. Keep right mouse held to hold on to the object. Release right mouse to throw the object with great force. Holding right mouse, then pressing alt, will hold the object in front of your reticle, allowing you to use it as a shield. You can also drop a held object by pressing R at any time. Telekinesis can be used as a weapon when you are low on ammo. Heavier objects, such as a cash register, can be extremely devastating. Held objects can be picked up or searched, so it is also useful for grabbing hard-to-reach items. That's it for now. The first thing we're going to do... is head back and grab the diary that we had to leave behind on the other side of that fan. Maintenance runoff pumping section. So you can see that little opening in the fan, that's when we'll have to grab that diary. up a diary. That will be diary 9, 
out of the 100 that we need for Rapture Historian. I didn't get to see what it was called. Let's look right quick. It's El Mr. Tape Recorder. Hello, Mr. Diary. Want to play? Actually, I'm quite busy right now, Miss Eleanor. Maybe later. Well, all right. But do you mind if I take you apart while I wait? I promise I'll put you back together. Wait! You can't do that! No! Wait! Not That was actually kind of funny. I liked it anyway. Oh. We can't get into Workshop 6B anyway. It's locked. Male Numo Control. I think this is just to practice catching things with kind of pieces. Tossed a potted meat at me. Dr. Holcroft's cure all. Drink. What is this? What is this? Holcroft's cure all. Do you suffer, my friends, from the plasmid blues? Dizzy, nauseous, seeing things that aren't even there? Step right up and try Doc Holcroft's cure all elixir. Excerpt handbill. Take a swig of Dr. Holcroft's wondrous cure-all to refill some health and eve. Like all food and drink, it is consumed immediately when picked up. Just keep making sure I haven't missed anything. Looks like I haven't. Still chucking things. I guess I need to shut it off. I'm gonna stop it. Cure all, cure all, canned beans, canned beans, potted meat. That is deactivated now, as it should be. But back here, there's coffee, which I don't think I've seen yet. Coffee. Rapture Science delivers us new wonders each and every day. The patented, pneumatic-driven, unbreakable pressure seal of a Glaustein thermos keeps your beverages warm and fresh for years to come. Article, Science and You Magazine, May 1955. The burst of caffeine from a thermos of coffee will restore a small amount of Eve. Like all food and drink, it is consumed immediately when picked up. Nothing there. There. All right, good. Get out of here, man. And I'm going to take a quick lag prevention pause. And we're back. Let's head upstairs. She knows the way. Helen, he's up topside now. High balls with all the can can girls. And if anybody gets Three splicers here. Now. Let's shoot them so my bot friend will attack him. Oh, thank god, I don't have to watch the death animation before it lets me quick load. That is a massive improvement over the first game. One more. Oh shoot, now it's got me saving screenshots. I really didn't mean to do that. Well maybe that's maybe that's a steam control. Let me see. <laughs> Press F12 while in-game to take screenshots. Let's get rid of that. Let's delete these screenshots. Okay. 
I think we're good now. Gonna try and shoot, and shoot them and then. And if anybody gets lippy, pal, he's got the bomb. Tad the first kid. End of story. You think I give a happy sport when he's done? He's gone now. And Doc Lamb's the news. Where's my bot buddy? Did they kill him? No? He's still here. That's one down. Three dollars for the rivets that need. And I got shot somewhere else. What? I got rid of the shortcut, didn't I? Yeah, I did. But it didn't... take. How irritating. Let's try again. He's up topside now, highballing with all the air can girls. And if anybody gets lippy, now I knew that wasn't gonna work. Almost as soon as I got a look at it. I want my bot buddy to kill them. I really do. He's up topside now, highballing with all the can can girls. And if anybody gets lippy, now he's got the bomb. Thought I'd made it. Okay, well, first I'm gonna make a new quick save at the top of the stairs. Ellen, he's up topside now, highballing with all the can can girls. And if anybody gets lippy, pow, he's got the bomb. Nuts! <laughs> and win a happy ever after. Pansy. End of story. I give a happy sport when he's done. He's gone now. And Doc Lamb's the news. Run away. Where's my bot? There he is. Two new ones come in. Know that. They killed him. Blood. Maybe I should stop trying to kill them with the bot. The whole kindergarten full of cutesy little brats. And win up happy ever after. End of story. Or maybe I should let him fight one at a time. He's done. He's gone now. And Doc Lamb's the news. Truth is, five is just too many to try to kill this way. He saved a whole kindergarten full of cutesy little brats and went up happy as I'm getting another idea though, because I can get back to the 
drafting area. I know. If I use Electra Bolt on the door control down here, then maybe I can draw them into the security camera. What what he's done? He's gone now, and Doc Lamb's the news. There we go. Let's head right back through here. Much better. I feel so economical, too. Killed at least one just then. Okay, we've got another achievement to go after with. This is getting out of hand, everybody. Come back, please! Pop goes a weasel! I'm trying to get a stash myself! Alright, well, I know we got one more. Oh, come on. Two. Bots, do your job. This was much more effective in the first game. Bots would just shred these fools. Get out of the way, bitch! Oh, we can go for another achievement right quick if he's gonna throw things at us. Achievement! Counterattack! I don't actually want to kill him that way after unlocking the achievement, but that one should be obvious. It was one of it was a secret achievement. Counterattack. Well, I'll just get in here and look at it. But if we go to Bioshock 2, that was our third of 68. I'm gonna mark that down in my own notes. And counterattack was killed an enemy with its own projectile. Come on, why not? Here's a present for you. Three dollars and six dream people on that first one we killed. How the heck are they avoiding trigger triggering the alarm? Where's my mark? 
Good grief. I also think maybe they'd focus on me. No, they are relentlessly after me, and the bots really suck at killing them. That's one. Three rivets and a cream-filled cake. That one I've searched already. Three dollars, two rivets, and vitamins. There's a lockbox I missed. Three dollars, three rivets, and coffee. Although I think that's actually a... the leftovers of another corpse. Come on, spot him. Spot him. There we go. Alright, we got him nice and easy. Oh, and there's another one. Three dollars, two rivets, and potato chips. Alright, that should have been a total of five splicers killed with hacked security, which gives me eight out of the fifty needed for the secret achievement. Or is it nine? I'm trying to remember now. I think it's actually nine. Anyway, let's move on into there now. I used to be, huh? Oh. And they're respawning. I could probably just sit here until the secret achievement came up, if I wanted to. Kind of how it's acting. Let's search her and see what we find. Two dollars, three rivets, and a potato chip. I'm trying to think. Killed two splicers in the train station using the hack security bot killed two in here, so that was four. So now I have gone beyond that and killed six. So yes, in fact, we are now at ten out of fifty needed for the secret achievement. Cool. Unless I hear something else, I'm gonna head back now. Here, on the balcony, there's a diary. This is diary number 10 of the 100 that we need to unlock Rapture Historian. It is called Just a Fad. There would be no rapture without me. No city without the Atlantic Express. Ryan took his first grand tour on my flagship coach. These days, personal bathospheres are all the rage. My rails only connect the oldest parts of Rapture now. And the city's just... just left me behind. <laughs> Plenty of cash in the bank, though. This private vehicle craze will blow over soon. Alright, let's head down into the lower area. Search this part of it. Part heading back to the drafting area. Not seeing anything here except oh, a little money and some rivets. Here in the back area it's basically the same story not finding anything useful. There's the door into the cafeteria. Our trains run on time when you run on time. 
you can keep Atla the Atlantic you can keep Atlantic Express running efficiently. I'm assuming that's what it says. I can't quite actually read all of it, but I'll check the rest of this area before I go anywhere else. Canned beans. I'll leave those. Here's a diary. What happened to the people? That is diary number 11 of the 100 that we need to unlock Rapture Historian. These people are hooked on some kind of genetic wonder drug called Adam. I've read the word splicer scribbled on walls like a warning. One of them cornered me and Christ his Base. I had a gun, but I choked. And then out of nowhere, we both heard this singing. And he took off like hell on wheels. It sounded like a kid. A little girl. Cindy's alive. I know it in my gut. Over here, we've got some fresh water. Four dollars and canned beans. We can't go through there. There's a splicer in there, just jammed something. Ugh, Sophia Lamb is using the splicers against you. Most big daddies are like her slaves, guarding the little ones. But someone has awakened you. That message from Tenenbaum was Lamb tries to stop you. I think our goal has changed to open the deployment bay door. The deployment bay 6B doors closed, blocking you from getting to Tenenbaum. A splicer has jammed the gears with a lead pipe to prevent the door from opening. You need to acquire the telekinesis plasmid and use it to remove the pipe and open the door. Won't work through these windows, I don't think. We've got this door and the cafeteria. Let's get this money off the ground. Four dollars, four dollars. And let's head through the cafeteria door. Failed to save game. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. There we go. Game saved. <clears throat> right, well, actually, let's check up here first. telekinesis to remove the pipe blocking the gears. We'll do that in a second. Let's explore first. Fresh water, two dollars. Four rivets, canned beans, and two dollars. Here's the tool dispenser. Eve dispenser. That's kind of awesome. Oops. Go. Well, now I guess I can grab the rivets too. Or one of them anyway. There we go. Now there is a health station. Let's go ahead and remote hack it. Succeeding in that hack. We've hacked health stations before, of course, but that is the fifth of the 30 distance hacks we need to unlock Master Hacker. I'm just going to record that in my own notes. Help me keep track. Grab the first aid kit and move on into the cafeteria. Pop up cola. Record player. Another ad for the masquerade ball. Some rivets. We move into this back area. I see canned fruit, canned beans, canned fruit, canned beans, potted meat potato chips, 
pop up cola. Get some spicer spawn. There's coffee. A pep bar. Now that's new. So let's let's look at the pep bar right quick. <coughs> Snacks and medicinals. Pep bar. Now with a burst of Eve. Pep bar advertising copy. A tasty pep bar will replenish small amounts of health and Eve. Like all food and drink, it is consumed immediately when picked up. Cool. Health and happiness through genetics. And here is a diary. Ryan vs. Lamb. Reality. This is diary number 12 of the 100 that we need for Rapture Historian. Let's give it a listen. White is not black, Dr. Lamb. Down is not up. And straw is not gold. Look around you. Rapture is no miracle. It is a product of reason. Impossible unless one and one are two, and A equates to A. And yet, alone, each man is a prisoner to bias. Dream, delusion, or the pain of a phantom limb. To one man, they are as real as rain. Reality is consensus, and the people are losing faith. Take a walk, Andrew. It is raining in rapture, and you have simply chosen not to notice. Interesting. I'm going to try and lure those splicers out to the security camera and kill them that way. Look around, my friends. Rapture is a mass grave. Here lies the holy self. A budding Mozart rots beside a girl who might have surpassed Einstein. Those who survived the war still crave the Adam drug. Locked within ourselves, we were unfit for utopia. Oh, good grief. <laughs> Failed to retrieve the game save file. Save the game first. Ah, oh, shit! It's the same freaking glitch again! Failed to retrieve list of saved games. Okay, hold on. I have to go deal with this. Hi, everybody. Sorry about that. I had to replay from the beginning of the level because my quick save became corrupted. Something I've read online that happens a lot in this game, so hopefully we can struggle through it to the end. Anyway, you'll notice I did a little bit better. I still killed everything, excuse me, using just the security system. I think I have more first aid kits now, and I don't know exactly how many splicers spawned near the security camera, so it's entirely possible that that number is varied, so I'm just going to keep killing everything I can with security until I unlock the achievement. I'm not going to bother. Well, I don't know. I'm still going to try to track the numbers, but just be aware that they might be off. Alright, let's try sprinting out to security again. Look around, my friend. Rapture is a mass grave. Here lies the holy self. 
A budding Mozart rots beside a girl who might have surpassed Einstein. Those who survived the war still crave the Adam drive. Locked within ourselves, we were unfit for utopia. You! Oh good, he's dead. Thuggish Splicer died. I gotta get gone. I deserve respect. I do. I think that was the last one. Actually, I counted a total of three that got killed, which means it's like I, it's like the one respawned just like last time, then I killed two others. So that's perfect. So I believe that's 12 enemies killed with hacked security out of the 50 that I need. Let's go to the health station. Spend nine dollars and heal up. Now let's go over here to the bathroom and open the door. Nice and easy. I know of your bond with Eleanor Delta. To save yourself, you will come for her. But Eleanor has a destiny, one you cannot share. There is no place for you in paradise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that message was, Lamb, no place for you. Our goal is back to get to Bridget Tenenbaum. I'm going to do a perma save here because those didn't get corrupted when the quick save did. So I'm thinking maybe just in case I can avoid having to repeat content again if I perform regular real saves in addition to quick saves. Now I'm going to do lag prevention. And we are back stick to ground level for now. As we head back here, we find a corpse of seven drill fuel and four dollars. Fresh water, canned fruit, corpse with nothing. Let's head up here first. Twelve drill fuel in the filing cabinet. A vita chamber. We're not using those. 
here we're in the room where the gears were, and there is a diary. Know the beast. This is diary number 13 of the 100 that we need for Rapture Historian. In ethical psychiatry, we must account for the role of evolution. Depression, fits of panic, sexual pathos, all responses to ancient selection pressure. The irony is that this theory is why Ryan's people invited me here. They mistake my study of natural law for the worship of competition. Remember, Eleanor, one must know the beast before it can be slain. All right, let's check out the rest of this room. Empty supply cabinet. This corpse has seven drill fuel. There's some rivets, and that's it. Well, let's head over to the other side of the room now. Search the ground first. The corpse has $19 in the pet bar. There's some sardines in his hand. There's a bot shutdown panel right here. And we have a Circus of Values vending machine. First, let's see what it is. Circus of Values. The Circus of Values vending machine offers a variety of items for sale, often including ammunition, first aid kits, and eve hypos. Each machine will offer a different selection of items. Most vending machines have items at the bottom that will only become available if you successfully hack the machine. A successful hack will also reduce the prices of all available goods. Hacking is often the only way to get rarer types of ammo and supplies from a Circus of Values machine. Getting a blue bonus section while hacking a Circus of Values will cause a free item to drop from the slot below. Be sure to pick it up before you move on. Hacking blue bonus hacking. Many machines have blue zones in their hack game. Landing on these zones counts as a success as well as giving you a machine specific bonus. Below is a list of the bonuses for each. Security cameras, longer friendly alarm. Turrets, additional damage. Vending machines, free items. Safes, additional money. Security bots, additional damage. Health stations, free first aid kit. Some machines have more than one blue zone while hacking, leading to stacked bonus rewards. Well, that's awesome. Nothing else left to read. So let's remote hack it. Hack successful. Hacked vending machines have more items and cheaper prices. Get a blue bonus while hacking to drop a free item. A couple of things. That is the fifth of the eight types of machine that we need to hack in order to unlock Prolific Hacker, and it's the sixth of the 30 distance hacks we need for Master Hacker. Now there's another achievement tied to vending machines. Let me show you what that is. This one is not a secret achievement. Big Spender spend two thousand dollars at vending machines pretty straightforward I'm gonna spend as much money as I can so twenty five fifty seventy five one hundred one hundred twenty five one hundred forty five dollars of the two thousand that we need for big spender let me make note of that and my personal notes 145 out of 2000 and with that done I'm also too low on money to buy anything anyway well, let's get our rivet gun back out lamb will lead the way well I'm gonna make a real save here I then intend to make a quick save. And now I'm going to do lag prevention. Alright, with that done, let's get back to it. To 
camera to hack in this room. Oh, there's the big sister. Quickly, head for the elevator. That message from Tenenbaum to the elevator. I'm going to quick save now that our little scene is over. I'm going to creep forward and look for the camera. There it is. Alright, that camera is ours. That is the seventh of the 30 distance hacks that we need to unlock Master Hacker. Now that the camera's on our side, I guess we can move forward. It's my understanding that there are going to be several splicers. Aspirin. She's prettier now. We gotta get her something. Oh, great. Fuck it. Why did I gotta disappear? Two rivets, Dr. Holcroft's cure all. Hey, come back. Is he okay? Talk a little Try to distance hack the health station as well as the camera. Don't waste hack ammo, use it on non friendly machines. Well, I didn't intend to waste it. Let's try again. Make sure I can't make that shot or else the sight would. Now there's a first aid kit to pick up over there. Aspirin gives Eve. I thought it gave help. My mistake. Alright, let's do another save. My goal, if I can, is to stay hidden. Just let the camera do the work for me. It won't let me What's run past enemies. So I could have sworn it was something I could do in the first game, but maybe <laughs> My commitment to unlocking the secret achievement as soon as possible is creating a lot of problems for me. You may be hunting! Open up, Donald! Hey, where'd you go? Why not? Maybe I should give up on that <laughs> bit of OCD. I don't know. I mean, as long as the security alert is active, then presumably guys are getting shot. If it goes inactive early. I think that means that it killed something. Whatever triggered the alarm in the first place, so. Baby? Go ahead. I deserve respect. I do it.
Okay, hey, vitamins. No one. That was cool. Hadn't seen it before. Someone there? Did someone knock? Did they destroy my camera? Ah, I gotta disappear. Hey, come back. Things be okay. Memory. Ah. I ain't dead yet. Ah. But we're not done. Yeah, there's a lock on her. I think. That's it. Brock <laughs> was to be your paradise. You grasped the so-called great chain of progress and pulled hard in your own interest. I think I can only have one alarm then, going at once. The great I think that's the problem. Paradise is dying, and you with her. But we are never alone. We shall live on, join the Rapture family, and be reborn. Well, I think I can get back to the main room now, at least, and kind of see what's happening. I definitely saw one person or one splicer get killed back there. So that's good. This can't be right. What's wrong, big boy? Not again! Not again! You just dropped half of the chat. This seems like a good time to quick save. So I'm going to. You fight like a baby fight. Alright, I'm gonna go ahead and record the one that got killed in the other room. That is 13 of the 50 we need for the secret achievement. Now let's see about this room. How many have died? One. Two. Three. Four. Five, six, so if I add in those six, I have killed 19 of the 50 we need for the secret achievement. I'm going to make sure that the one lead head that followed me down here came back and got killed like he should have. Huh? What? He didn't. Come on, dude. Coming? I walk. I walk all the time. Don't just hatch. Well, he's definitely after me. So if we can bag him, he'll be number twenty.
There he is. Got him. Good. That is number 20 of the 50 that we need for the secret achievement. So... Yes, I've made some money, so I'm gonna go buy some first aid kits from the Circus of Values. Specifically one. And then maybe another remote hack dart. Oh, can't do that. Oh, item sold out. I see. So that's another $25, which brings me up to 170 of the $2,000 I need for Big Spender. Okay, finally now... Let's head up the elevator, as initially directed. Okay. Yes, we're ready. Let's go. Oh, good. Now, here is what the children tell me. You are a very old Big Daddy, bonded for life to a single little one. When you are apart for too long, your body begins to shut down like a coma. As long as the girl is in the rapture, you are trapped here as well. The name of your little one is Eleanor Lamb, daughter of Sophia. She is kept at Fontaine Futuristics on the other side of the city. You must go there and save her before it is too late. All right, everyone. I'll be right back. And we're back. First things first, just that last message from Tenenbaum was, you and your goal. Fairly straightforward. Let's do a new save. There's a splicer. Oh, what is that business? Those are traps. And that ties into another achievement, which I'll show you all right quick. For Bioshock 2, there is an achievement called Trap Master. Kill 30 enemies using only traps. That, I think, counts as the first of 30. Oh, having made note of that. This corpse has nothing. Trap rivets will never fire against you. Well, that's handy. I wonder if I can go back down. I cannot. Okay. Fair enough, game. Splicer. Three dollars. Come bite the apple. H. Rourke presents Eve's Garden at Poseidon Plaza. We've seen that in the first game. Our trains run on time when you run on time. Help keep Atlantic Express running efficiently. Now here is a trap rivet. Trap rivets are an alternate ammunition type for the rivet gun. When fired, trap rivets will embed in objects and shoot a secondary rivet when an enemy nears. Use these to set traps for your foes. Unused trap rivets can be picked up and reused. Neat. Let's 
get some trap rivets. You got special ammo. Press B to change ammo type. Special ammo has a variety of added effects and functions. Pick the right ammo for the right enemy. Let's pick up these trap rivets. Let's arm the trap rivets now. There's a fighter chamber over there. Which is well and good, but... Here we have Hop-Up Cola and two dollars. In the ashtray we have twelve drill fuel and three dollars. In the supply closet there is a first aid kit. Over in this office there's a corpse with nothing. A corpse with three normal rivets. Another trap rivet. Sinclair Solutions Protector Munitions 60mm Sensor Released Trap Rivets. Six Drill Fuel, Potted Meat, $3 in that filing cabinet. And in this one, there's a diary improving on Su Chong's work. That is diary number 14 of the 100 needed to unlock Rapture Historian. Dr. Su Chong's death was a nasty blow to the Protector program, but I'm gradually settling into his role, picking up the slack that his carelessness left behind. We are gaining steam again, but I'm not satisfied. Yes, the Big Daddy defends the girl, but he is programmed only for the fight, like a sheepdog who wanders off unless a wolf is tearing at his flock. When no aggressor is present, he regards his little sister as he might a common houseplant. We need something more. Something stronger. An unbreakable physiological bond. Well, there you go. Let's see how many trap rivets I can load. Atlantic Express, Ryan Amusements. Head into there in a moment. over here, stuffing over here. Dr. Holcroft's cure-all and a remote hack dart. Here is the Circus of Values machine. I think that's... Since I had to do the reload, that's the first time I've seen Holcroft's cure-all. Let me just clear it from the new messages. And let's hack the vending machine. Oh no. Well, there you go. Failed to save game. Failed to retrieve list of saved games. It's doing it again. I'll be right back. Alright everyone, we're back. Had to replay from the fight in the train platform. That's the manager's office. As you can see, I did better again. I've got the full complement of five first aid kits, but I think I managed to keep all of the achievement numbers exactly the same. But again, I might be off on the secret achievement for enemies killed with hacked security. <coughs> I'm certain I'm right on the big spender. So now, let's hack this Circus of Values machine. That is... Hack number eight of the... 30 distance hacks that we need to unlock Master Hacker. So let's... Well, we have rivets, of course. Can't buy anything. Let's quick save. And move on. Affordable Endings Funeral Home. Haven't you already paid enough? Atlantic Express. We have the Atlantic Express Depot, Ryan Amusements, Pauper's Drop, Dionysus Park, and Fontaine Futuristics, where we're ultimately headed. You see the other ads already, so let's head through this door. I see some trap rivets down there. Back. Go check them hard, and we'll need her milk for a while. Splicer is. 
I do know I want to kill him with traps. Sunbeam gum, two some today. Bigger bubbles, better bubbles, pinker bubbles. 25% more latex. Wow. And remember, it's the only gum fortified with vitamin D. Rapture's favorite chewing gum. I hear a camera. I'm going to want to hack that too, but... For the moment, let's deal with the one splicer. Come here, dude. Ray, let's fix your face, baby. Ah! Fuck! Ah! Ah! All right, I'm relatively certain that is our second splicer killed with traps of the 30 that we need to unlock Trap Master. Now where's that camera? Over there to the left. Two all trains. Over here there's a Vita chamber. Potted meat inside that trash can. Here, in the ticket booth. Press the button so we can speak face to face. That message was... Tenenbaum over here. Inside this trash can we have vitamins. Rapture Colony. Attention, please have Rapture ID cards ready before reaching checkpoint. All comments are taken seriously. No unauthorized persons passed checkpoint. Rapture Security is here for your safety. Have a nice day. Alright, I think that's everything, so... Ah, the ashtray. Nine dollars in canned beans. All right. Let's make another perma save before we do this. Let's do a quick save too. And let's hit the intercom. This is why I must fight Sophia Lamb. She is using the new little ones for... for something. And I have returned to rescue them. If I do not, more children will die for my sins. And the rapture nightmare it will repeat forever. Now, we must talk... Citizens, Citizens of rapture. rapture. This, this is, is Subject, subject Delta. Delta. Behind, Behind that mask hides an enemy of the, of the people. people. Without, Without soul, soul or sympathy. Or sympathy. It, is it is a beast, beast apart. apart. And as, as family, family, we must, we must tear, tear out its jaw, jaw and drive it back into, into the, the sea. sea. Lamb will take this place apart to find you. Please hold back the splicers until we escape. Alright, let's set up some traps. I just want to tell. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's the right thing. You fight the whole thing you fight. And I think priority one is going to be hacking the camera and the health station. We're gonna do that first this time. It's too bad we can't skip the stupid cutscene. You see? This is why I must fight Sophia Lamb. She is using the new little ones for... for something. And I have returned to rescue them. If I do not, more children will die for my sins. And the rapture nightmare it will repeat forever. Now, we must talk... Citizens, Citizens of Rapture. Rapture. This, this is Subject, subject Delta. Delta. Behind, Behind that, that mask hides an enemy of the people. people. Without, Without soul, soul or, sympathy. or sympathy. It is a it beast, beast apart. apart. And as, as family, family, we must we tear, tear out its jaw, jaw and drive it back into, into the, the sea. sea. 
Lamb will take this place apart to find you. Please hold back the splicers until we escape. All right, let's hack first. I like that the hacks do it really hard. Sophia Lamb Splicers. Achievement unlocked. Protector. Thank you. Now I must leave you, and I am sorry for this. But there are others I must help before the city drowns. This man Sinclair, he is an ally, and will guide you to Eleanor. Goodbye, Herr Delta. And good luck. Well, look at you. A bona fide knight in armor, complete with iron horse. The name's Augustus Sinclair Sport, Esquire. Old Tannenbaum and I share an interest in the old Fontaine building, the very same place you'll find Eleanor Lamb. I think you and I can do business. Take the train to Ryan Amusements. I'll see you shortly. Well, with that, I'm having to give up tracking how many enemies were killed by security versus how many were killed by traps. But I do know that I did three hacks just then. Eleven of the thirty distance hacks needed for Master Hacker. Let's make sure everyone is searched. And we did unlock a new achievement. It was Protector. That one's pretty straightforward. It's just defended yourself against Lamb's assault in the train station. That is nice to have that done. Let's search that trash can. Let's search this one. Seems I can't search that one. Here's some lock boxes. Those, of course, were enemy corpses. Here is a... Before I advance any farther into the station. Well, no. Let's search the station completely first. First aid kit from that hack. Bot shutdown panel. Atlantic Express. There's 
the train itself, which I can take to Ryan Amusements, but before we do that... One thing left to do. Well, I guess it's two. Schedule. 11 o'clock delayed, 11.30 Dionysus Park, 11.50 cancelled, 12.15 cancelled, 12.35 Ryan Amusements, 1 o'clock Fontaine Court, 1.45 cancelled, 2.25 cancelled. And at last, for the end of the level... Oh, bandages. There's one more Circus of Values machine to hack. That is distance hack number 12 of the 30 that we need to unlock Master Hacker. Dropped drill fuel. And I can buy two more first aid kits. That's a total of $50. Brings my spent money up to 220 of the 2,000 that we need to unlock Big Spender. There's one more thing that I can't quite seem to find. It's very simple. There's one more diary here. This is diary number 15 of the 100 that we need to unlock Rapture Historian. It is called The Situation. Sophia Lamb has taken the Rapture and is responsible for stealing children from the surface. Her splicers destroyed my submersible and forced me to run. But the ticket booth here is secure. And though I cannot trust him, Sinclair is a valuable ally. I have already rescued a few of the new little ones from Lem. They all want to know how we will get home. I wish I had the right words for them. Alright. Let's end this chapter and this video by boarding the train. There we go. Ryan Amusements. Whoa there! Now better apply the brakes unless you're aiming to dash yourself against that glacier up ahead. Oh yeah, I did forget to look at my messages. Had Tenenbaum Farewell, Sinclair Introduction to Proposition, and Sinclair Slowdown. As you can see, Chief, the station here is iced over. To reach Eleanor Lamb at Fontaine Headquarters, we'll have to clear the way. Now, in order to melt that ice, you'll need a plasmid like a handful of hellfire. We used to sell a fine old product called Incinerate in the amusement park up yonder. Go on and find a way in. I've already been on all the rides. New goal, get a ticket. The train bulkhead door that allows passage through this park is frozen shut, preventing further progress toward your little sister, Eleanor Lamb. A man named Sinclair has offered to help, but you will need to get a ticket into the park first. The ticket can be found in the manager's office in the security wing. That message was Sinclair incinerate in the park. And with that, I'm going to choose my order carefully. Hey, our first little sister's on this level. I want to make, I want to update the permasave I've been using. That is going to become the save that just sits at the beginning of the level. I'll make a new permasave. Now I will quick save. <laughs> yeah. 
And I will end the video here. This has been Let's Play Bioshock 2. Thank you for bearing with me through the technical difficulties. We made our way through the Atlantic Express Depot, rescued Tenenbaum and allowed her to escape, received the mission to track down Eleanor Lamb on the other side of the city, and we have arrived at Ryan Amusements. Next time, we'll go through the amusement park and find Incinerate so we can advance the train further toward Fontaine Futuristics. Until then, thank you all for watching. Bye-bye.